question number 18. Okay. It's saying evaluate the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of the secant squared of x divided by 1 plus 3 times the tangent. Okay. <coughs> so to evaluate this, we have to first take the antiderivative. So the method we use is u substitution. Okay, so let's find the u. Okay? We find the u such that its derivative is also in the problem. Okay? So I'm going to say let's choose u to equal the entire denominator. So 1 plus 3 tangent of x. Okay? So we have u. So now we need something for d. So let's take the derivative. du is going to equal 0 plus 3 times the tangent, or derivative of tangent of x, which is the secant squared of x, okay, times d, okay? Alright, so if we look at our problem, we see that we have the secant squared of x dx in the problem, okay? So, let's go ahead and divide over the 3. Okay, so we'll see that du over 3 is going to replace the secant squared of x dx. Okay, so now let's replace everything. Okay, so it's going to be the integral. Okay, so secant squared of x dx is going to be I du over 3. Okay, and then the denominator is 1 plus 3 tangent x. That was u. Okay? So we see we have the integral of 1 over u times du over 3, which is the same thing as the integral of 1 over 3u du. Okay? So let's find the antiderivative of that. Okay? So it's easier to think of it as the integral of one third times one over u. Okay? Then the antiderivative of one over u is going to equal the natural log of the absolute value of u. Okay? So now let's go ahead and replace our u with. Okay? So it would equal one third natural log of 1 plus 3 tangent x. Okay. And then we can evaluate it from 0 to pi over 4. Okay. Alright. So if we plug pi over 4 into here, we're going to get 1 third times the natural log of 1 plus 3 times the tangent of pi over 4. So tangent of pi over 4 is 1, so it's 1 plus 3, okay? Then we subtract when we plug in our lower, okay? So it's minus 1 third times the natural log of the absolute value of 1 plus 3 times the tangent of 0. Tangent of 0 is 0, so it's natural log of 1, okay? So the natural log of 1 is zero. Okay, so it'll just be one third times the natural log of the absolute value of one plus three, which is four. Okay, and that's the answer, which is C.